YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we're back for another what's in the bag on a a Manufacturing Gear Kits. Today we're going to actually dive in and show you guys about part number 524672. Stay tuned, we're going to jump right in. Alright guys, and we're back. So again, today we have another what's in the bag for you guys on a a Gear Kits. Uh, for today's gear kit, we're going to actually go over the six port low profile ball valve kit. So this is the real old school low profile that actually used the uh, old acrylic balls in the bottom instead of the T-flaps, uh, even compared to some of the new two inch or inch and a half press in flaps. Um, this one actually only used those acrylic balls, so it does come with a special cam, which we'll dive in and kind of show you guys that. So. If you guys want to make sure you guys get the right part, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below. We actually will have all these laid out for you guys on the website in perspective to their actual valve. Um, and we're going to actually do some future stuff where we show you guys how to actually install them. But for today, we just want to dive in and show you guys some of the differences. So first thing, I already have the bags all pre-cut for you guys. So first thing is I'm going to pull out the actual gear kit. So the gear kit for these, uh, very similar to all your other low profile valves will not have the additional PVC ring along the top. It's a much more slim line um, gear set to make sure that it fits in there properly when you actually set the impeller on top and then the low profile lid, which is typically the clear lid, the flat lid, you have the water coming in from the side of the valve, not the top. So that's one way you guys can kind of decide what the difference is. So I'm gonna set that off to the side for you. All right, and then they always give you an extra valve lid o-ring, which is really really convenient So then that way as you guys are taking all this out and you're going to replace it in your actual valve They give you a new lid o-ring so then that way once everything's put back in you guys can seal it up and everything stays tight It does not come pre-looped So make sure that you guys use some form of a silicone loop We always like the silicone loop just because it provides more of a watertight seal for you guys So make sure you guys give that a, a, a good little slather on there so then that way it'll seal nice when you guys put the lid on so set that off and then similar to all the other gear kits they always give you the two anti-friction discs here they actually give you a little package which is going to come with your two different washers that you need typically one for the bottom of the gear kit and one for the top to reduce the friction between the plastic on the gears um, they give you a whole new center shaft so that's really nice you guys can actually take the old one out typically those get rusted over time so they give you a new one of those and then, like I said, they give you the two anti-friction discs that will actually sit at the very, very bottom underneath the cam. It just helps reduce the friction of the cam rotating around and lifting up each one of the acrylic balls for you. The six port and the five ports, including the low pros and the top feeds, the friction discs are different sizes. So you do want to make sure that all of this lines up to your valve because it, you don't want to get two pieces of the equipment that you can't use. So set that off. They always like to give you some handy dandy little uh, instructions here on how to make sure you guys shut off the valve, turn off the water, run through the steps, making sure how to take off your band clamp, remove the lid, get the old gear kit out. So they do give you some kind of instructions on how to line it all up, which is really nice here on the bottom. You get a couple of images, but again, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We should have um, a lot more videos coming your guys' way with installation in the field. So then that way you guys can actually see it firsthand instead of trying to read it off of a piece of paper. So set that down. And then you got the notorious low profile impeller. So these are always known for their taller teeth. That's because as the water's coming in from the side, it gives it more surface area to grab, which allows this to spin better on top of the low profile gear kit. So if you have the shorter teeth here on the impeller, more than likely you're gonna have the water be coming in from the top. Um, whereas with the low pro since the water is coming in from the side in order to make sure it spins this correctly They do raise the uh, the actual surface area of these spins for you so. And then last but not least is the bottom part of the gear kit, which is your cam So as you guys can see this one's actually like a, a, a More round oval shape compared to the triangle size that you're normally used to with the low profile um, because of the ball, the acrylic balls that it does need to pick up, this cam is designed specifically for that. So it does, it is directional, so make sure you guys read that instructions. And if you're taking out your old one, just make sure you follow in the same way to get everything put back together for you. So set that up. So yeah, we just want to show you guys what came in the bag on uh, ANA's six port low profile 
acrylic ball. It's a, an old outdated valve, so most of them will not have those acrylic balls. So if you don't actually have those round glass balls at the bottom of your valve, this is not the gear kit for you. So again, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We'll have a full playlist that lays out all of these for you guys, as well as a good little instructional thing on how to choose which one's right for you. So really appreciate you guys watching. I'm Kyle from ePool Supply. We'll see you next time. Thank you.